Okay, this is a uh, live trade here. Uh, I just wanted to see if I have an opportunity to show one of my techniques. Uh, this is the uh, YM, or actually the MYM. I'm using micros because I've been doing some testing and um, of strategies. And um, what I wanted to show you here is this is, uh, you know, let's look at the overview. We've got a 60 minutes bullish. We've got a down here in the lower left corner. You see it says reverse retrace long. That's saying that based on uh, Malone's bias uh, structure that we have what was at the open really a, a short setup, but we're getting either a retracement uh, or a reversal. And a retracement would be just simply, you know, a temporary pull in the opposite direction of the main tre trend or a reversal, which would be, you know, reversing the trend, right? So the point is that uh, that's temporarily, in this case, bullish. Uh, we've got a one-hour bullish. If we look at our uh, long-term guppies on the chart itself, they're bullish, which are these green EMAs right in this area here. And then if we look at the faint-colored silver or gray uh, long-term guppies that's on the uh, that'd be on the 30 minute time frame so they're flat to bullish i would say so what we had is we had an earlier fib walk up to about here this area here would have been our uh, first 127 uh, fib target which we hit excuse the dog in the background I'm kind of doing this recording extemporaneously um and then there was a pullback to set up. Uh, we're looking uh, to, for a sufficient pullback to uh, set up the second uh, FIB target, which you can see it's up here. So I, I, I continually moved my 100% point on the FIB tool up to, up to the point where I finally got a pullback that was substantial enough to uh, suggest a uh, momentary profit taking before a resumption of the trend. I know there's a lot of subjective uh, uh, judgment that's involved in that, but in, in time you'll get better and better at it. So it so in any event, it came back and it gave us. Uh, let's see, this would have been effectively the 23.6 pullback, and this would have been down here. It, you don't see it because of this marker. Uh, that would have been the 38.2 pullback. So really, we got about a 38 percent uh, pullback on the fib which is still considered normal profit taking with the expectation that the trend is likely to uh, proceed in the upside now here's what i want to show you a couple of things here you see the opening range high right there uh that was set back here at uh 10 20 or so uh that's based on the first 60 minutes of the market in new york open uh, so that served as a support. It was not effectively broken below that. And uh, we drew a, a bull flag on here. And uh, we also saw we had our uh, anchored VWAP serve somewhat of a, as a support right here. Broke below a little bit, closed below it. Uh, here's our regular daily VWAP right here, this do dotted one. So now we have price coming up. It's challenging this high, this local high right here, which is a key decision point. I only have one contract in play here. Um, a lot of times I'll have multiple contracts, and I would take some of them off. Might even take most of them off right here, and then let the rest uh, run as a, a runner. Uh, so what we're hoping happens is the price will break above this upper green zone here. This is one of Malone's bank bankers traders uh, strategy zones uh, that's part of my strategy that I created that auto prints them on the chart so you know the more clear sailing would be if it can break above that level and oftentimes come back retest it then head off up into the upper reaches up there but we'd be happy if it just simply got up to our second uh, uh, fib target rate up here uh, so many times I would just you know, as I say, I take most of my contracts off right here with this uh, when it re recaptures the high uh, with the expectation that many times we get a, a reversal right there. 
but we're in good shape because uh, well, here's our entry right here. Now, I want to point out something here that you might be wondering. Um, hold on a second. My dogs are misbehaving. I'm going to walk away from the mic. Okay, I just got a new puppy a couple of weeks ago, and her older sister is uh, causing some issues over there. But in any event, forget where I was at any point. Uh, we're hoping that uh, it clears this high right here. Oh, here's what I wanted to show. You might be wondering why I have this stop down here. This is my stop below this l recent swing low right there. And if price had gone against me, and you see that it did give a little threat of coming back down right here, uh, this is what I do oftentimes, and it's maybe not for the faint of heart, but I figure that my game plan was price was going to go up. And if it comes down and breaks that low after having been up here, then I say to myself, okay, you're wrong, Jeff. You, you made a wrong judgment. Now I think that uh, you know price is going to fall. So I put my stop here more than what my entry number of contracts is here. As a matter of fact, I put a six uh, contracts to the short side so one of those f six contracts will cover that long leave me five remaining and then uh, I set a, a realistic target not too far away now I've got multiple contracts and my intent is to try to recover the loss that happened because of this pull back against me and now so far we haven't had to employ that uh, because we you know we've had this movement to the upside and we just have to see whether it's going to successfully reach up uh, to our ultimate target right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and we'll let this play out. And I'll bring back the recording uh, once it resolves itself either to the upside or to the downside, giving me uh, a little more of a challenge. So I'll be back once uh, Price uh, tells me to be back. Okay, uh, since I pause this video we had a pullback and I elected to add two more contracts to this you can see that uh, we're still working with this local high over here so I've gone ahead and added two additional I've got three in place and we've got this ADR uh, 20 high right up here which we've not yet reached today here's yesterday's high So I might, out of some caution, maybe put a, see, cell one. Order submitted. Maybe cell one of the three right there. We've got uh, our ribbons are both green. And if I look at the 30-minute chart right here, see what we've got here? We've got triple 200 EMA bullish. So on three time frames, that's one, uh, that's, uh, for me, that would be the, this is a 30 minute chart so that would mean on the 10 minute the 30 minute and the 60 minute i've got bullish 200 moving averages which is which is good and i look at the clock it's 1201 we often get a final push uh, a lot of times i like to be out of the market by 1220 just over the years that 20 after 12 has I just have sensed it's been a nice time to sit on the sidelines. Still trying to get up. See our long-term guppies on this uh, two-minute chart, nice and strong. That dog still being a little bit of a pest. Now that's three contracts, right? If it reverses back down this way, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to raise the number here to cover the three. So if I go to nine, order submitted. 
That uh, three of the nine covers that, leaves me six. Order, Order submitted. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this in pause again, try to save you some time. I'll be back if there's any significant change. Okay, it's getting awfully close. Notice how I changed this to two, taking two of the three off if it hits uh, this level right up Order here. Filled. Okay, so we took two of the three off. We have one uh, runner up here, so we've gone ahead and banked some profits. Now, this is not a lot of dollar amount of profits, but it's the it's this concept, uh, I think, that's worthwhile focusing on and see if you can derive anything helpful or beneficial to your way of trading just happens to be how I've evolved my trading over the years. See, this is a decision point, whether it wants to get up here to the ADE. This is the extension, the average daily extension tw based on 20 days. This is the average daily range based on 20 days. See the R and the E? It's a tool from uh, Lizard Traders library you pay i think it's 195 hours you get over 130 indicators you've heard me talk about it many times in the past but really everything currently is is still bullish look at all the uh the guppies the long-term guppies i pay more attention to the long-term guppies than i do the short term the short term are the 3 5 8 10 12 15 the long terms are the 30 35 40 45 50 and 60 Although Deem alone changed that 60 to 55, but I stay with Daryl Guppy's uh, formula of 60. Not that I don't trust Deem alone, but I just thought I'd stay with uh, Daryl Guppy's uh, original intent. Everything's still pretty bullish. We've got our ribbons are green. Everything looking bullish. And the time of day is 12.05. So we still have some time left for the, you know, with the, London close activity. So we could really disband with these because we had no order need for canceled. them. Order canceled. Order canceled. And we could go ahead and put, if you didn't want to lose any money, you could just go ahead and put a, a little stop here. Order submitted. So now we're trading on the, on the house's money. And I'll go ahead and put this on pause again to try to save you some time. I'll be back once something happens. Okay, might be stopped out here. It'd be for a few dollars profit. It hit some resistance right around here at this, uh, well, both the ADR 20 high and also the uh, upper range of one of uh, the green zone here, if you will, the banker's trader's strategy zone. That green zone there. I went ahead and added another anchored VWAP from this uh, low kind of double bottom right there. You can see price came up and respected it, tapped on it on the way up. I have a bearish engulfing right here. And that's uh, more relevant to me on a on a yeah, trend high or on a swing high to like that. I don't necessarily trade off of it exclusively, but it's another, uh, some more insight to local price action. Let's see if we can get above that new high there and get up to our target. And close this out. We're already at 14 minutes. I don't want to turn, burn up too much of your time in the day. And you can see why I'll have multiple contracts and remove some of them as price moves up to these influential levels. That price has just been hovering around that uh, level for a bit of time.
it's 12 11 11 minutes after 12. I'd like to see a final push here. <laughs> That's my dog in the background. I really should take that little pup out. We've had him a little over two weeks and we've only had two mishaps so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on pause and take the pup out and i'll come back and we'll see where it is where price is okay back all right so we hit our target so that was uh let me get rid of this we have no need for this anymore order canceled uh i think a good example of walking the fibs and and it uh maybe demonstrated how those fibs help me stay in the trade longer and uh, have more confidence that a certain target's going to be met. Uh, remember, we had our first uh, our first uh, fib target was right down here. And then what we had done is we had moved, once that was hit, we moved up, moved our um, fib tool up until uh, to the next high candle looking for a, a sufficiently large pull that pullback you just don't want to you know a few tick pullback so i walk and this is where the term walk the fibs so i walk the, the fib up that is to say the hundred percent point of the fib extension uh, retracement tool and then I kept walking it until we spied a pullback that was of sub of sub sub substance, and we got one here to, down to what would effectively be the 38.2 fib. Now you see it's a 61.8, but but you're reading it back, you're reading it reverse. In other words, here's the 50 percent. So coming down, here's the 50 percent, and this would be the. This would be the uh, 61.8. I'm sorry. Here's the 50% right here. So, so it didn't quite make it down to the 50%. It made it to the next fib above, which if you reverse the numbers, it's the 38.2. Uh, um, I, that's, I don't, maybe that's confusing to you. But if you study the fib retracement tool the way I have the line set up, the, the value set up, you'll, it'll make some sense. So, so we did get that pullback. And this we considered, you heard me say it earlier, this is normal profit taking. And could it have continued on down? Sure as shooting it could have, yeah. Uh, that's the reason I had that uh, uh, recovery strategy set up where I had multiple contracts sitting there waiting to take out my incorrect position and then uh, with the expectation and hope that the price continued on down and recovered my loss. And then some, and I've done that actually, I think two, maybe three times today prior to this setup where it did work just as I had planned it. Uh, so rather than uh, taking a loss on the overall trade, I ended up recovering the loss and some profit to begin. So then, so then it reversed up um, and uh, we uh, saw it come up here and then come back down. I added some more contracts because everything was saying long. You can see all the higher uh, time, time frame uh, long-term guppies here. And I think I switched over here to show you how we had gotten even the triple 200 EMA on the 30-minute on the chart was saying bullish. So everything looked like it was going to be what was suggested down here where it says reversal, long. Uh, so it, it, uh, it looks like it's, uh, that's the direction that it's headed. And then we watched the various levels. Uh, we were concerned when price came up to this level here, and that's what maybe caused that temporary pullback. And, uh, and then up here, a level was concerning to us. You can see how it meandered around that level for a number of candles right there. And then finally came up and hit our 127.2 right up there. Now, what would I do at this point? Well, it's, what time is it? It's 12.19. And you heard me say 1220 is when I like to step aside. But uh, if you were to carry on with this walking the fibs concept, con concept then you would go ahead and take this 100% point 
and you uh, since we met it right here uh, we we continue to walk it until we get a pullback pullback that is of a s significant size uh, and and by entering on the pullbacks you're less likely to enter on these breakout highs that simply reverse against you and stop you out that's one of the benefits of it but at this point I would just pack my bag and say I'm done for the day I'm you know it could go ahead and you know, shoot up here a good bit more, but uh, but I'm happy. So I hope that gives you some sense of uh, how I trade and some of the tools that I use. And, uh, and uh, best of luck to you.